dementia care changes on a day-to-day -day basis and we need to move with it and as a company we are moving with it. How do you still actually manage the experience of a person with dementia? How do you actually make them feel as well as they can in themselves? I think that commitment to that is, is very unique. They settle into this as being their home and the important thing about that is that the carers make them feel at home. They, they actually care about the people they're caring for and that's what it's all about, that's what care is all about. We could not think of a finer facility than the Colton Care Facility and uh, my sister and I are very reassured by the staffing, the management and the systems and processes. It couldn't be of a higher standard. Originally it was pretty awful because he thought he was coming home, but eventually, funny thing he said when we were in the garden, you know this is a very nice place, we could live here. And since then it's been, when are you coming again? It, it's just incredible. Now I am happy, he's happy. You can't ask for more than that. Everyone, everyone's involved rather than, I've got my job to do, and that's okay, but no, actually we're all part of the experience. You just get to hear the whole team of people committed to the experience of the people who are living there. And I think you just, you pick that up very quickly. When I look at dementia care now, it's totally evolved. It's very much person-centered, and it's more about looking at not just the resident, but as the actual families as well, which is really important. First of all, it was absolutely wonderful. But in the three years that we've been here, it's been improvement after improvement in every way. The staff here, if you ask them a question about dementia, there's no sort of trying to keep you out of the picture. It's all very open and, and very, if you want to know uh, what we're doing, I'll tell you. you know, it makes you feel safe in the knowledge that you've got your mum in here, or whoever it is in here. One day my husband brought me and I thought, actually, it's really nice. And I saw somebody, um, actually, I saw somebody kiss your mother. I saw yeah. Anne Marie kiss your mother. And I thought, well, yes. this isn't like my idea of a home. And there's nobody sitting in a group round a television. Round the outskirts of the room. Exactly. Yes. And everybody seems to be busy. One of the biggest things I've been, you know, over the moon about is how many activities and things that they do through the day here um, that kept Mum really busy, entertained, happy. We can come in and take Grandma upstairs to the coffee shop and like have a coffee with her, like just be really relaxed, not feel like pressured, and it's really nice. It's an all-round, complete family feeling, caring, loving. Yeah, I'm very. I'm so happy that Terry's here. Really, I don't think. Anywhere would be any better than this at all. I'm 84 years old now, and I don't think in all of my life that I've ever met a group of people that could be so friendly, and I really love all of them. Last week we went on a, a boat trip around Brandy Island and the islands, and he was in the wheelchair by the side of me and I just said oh look at the sea and everything else you know that was going on and he actually put his arm around me that was the first time for two three years that was amazing for me and also when you come in some days you say oh you know it's lovely to see you if there's a person on the keyboard comes and they're, 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 this happens quite often and Eileen is in the lounge she's unable to communicate by speech but when she hears the music she's always tapping about because she's always we both have loved music and it, it does help her quite a lot I think. There's Ramsey playing the piano on his food table uh, there's my mum doing a Wembley wave 
uh, and, and they wake up and they start tapping their feet, they don't have to get up at all. They can still enjoy it when they're sitting down. They've got, they got grins on their faces, and that's really what you're looking at, pleasing people and seeing that they are pleased. I think seeing our residents living their lives and enabling our residents to be as independent as possible for as long as possible, and also seeing their relatives happy and feeling that they are safe, that their, their loved ones are safe, that really uh, makes my day. We are using sound therapy in two of our homes um, with residents who've got, are further advanced in their, in their journey. So, and that has become evident over the last nine months to a year the difference it's making to those residents and to their relatives. If you can prove that this is effective for people with Alzheimer's dementia, I think it'd be quite revolutionary. People are living much longer now, and as people live longer, the brain does start to deteriorate. Um, we know we've got more and more people with early, early dementia now in the 50s and 60s, and I think no one's quite sure why this is happening. So it's a, a much more complex um, um, position to manage, really. I think it's nice because we get to feel like we're still a part of the family, like the life, her life, and everything, rather than, not. rather than just be like non-existent. I just thought he would deteriorate, instead of which, it's incredible. His physical health now is better than it's been in a very long time. I think the security here and the care, he's, he's doing very well. I'm very, very pleased. And can I tell you, I'm not, this is, the carers are fantastic. They all say we love him. And I, I think, uh, I think he's gone to heaven.